Welcome to Five Gold Rings, where all you have to do is find the answer and put a ring on it. Put the ring down, Dave. Put the ring down. But as the money goes up, the rings get smaller and smaller. No! Oh, this is the game where every pixel counts. You're moving it too slowly. Oh! This is Five Gold Rings. show where all the answers are somewhere on this very clever interactive floor. It's just a matter of finding them with the help of five gold rings. You can play along as well. Download the app for free right now on iOS and Android devices. Right, let's play the game. Right, let's meet the teams. Um, we've got best friends Debbie and Ruth. Lovely to see you both. Where are you from? I'm from Leicestershire, mm -hmm. and I'm from Worcestershire. And how long have you known each other? Co we were college together. together in the 90s. So it was college when you met? Yes. Absolutely, yes. And have you thought about the fact that you could walk away with £25,000? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What would you do with it? We'd love to go to New York together. A girl's um, trip. Yeah. yeah. And on a personal level, I'd like to take my mum on holiday, because she hasn't been on holiday for many, many years. Oh, yeah, so that's I'd lovely. I'd love to do that. Well, the yeah. very best of luck this evening. Their opponents are father and son, Danny and Jeff. Welcome, guys. Lovely Thank to you. see you. you. What made you apply? Well, I, I suppose Danny will blame me because I actually applied for both of us and then told Danny that I'd applied and it looked really interesting. Well, you've got quite an analytical mind. Try to. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're, you've got history in your head. I'm, I'm actually studying for a PhD in history, so I'm, I'm sort of hoping it doesn't come up because it'd be very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, the very best of luck Thank to you. all four of you, both teams. Earlier we tossed a coin to decide who plays first, and it's Debbie and Ruth. So, Danny and Jeff, yeah. you can take it easy for a little while, just watch <laughs> and see how they do it. Okay. You'll see the pitfalls as well. Before we start, they've got two lifelines, which they can activate by pressing that buzzer there. They can flip the floor to reveal a different question, or they can ask their team of five in the audience where they think the answer is. Your team of five just up there. Yours? including your twin brother, <laughs> just up there. So let's hope there's a little bit of connection between the two of you if you need it. Debbie and Ruth, let's play Five Gold Rings. The first question is worth £1,000, and it's played with the largest gold ring. And Ooh. it's a big one. Ooh. There you are. It makes it a lot easier. Are you going first? I am indeed. Yeah, OK. Well, have a look at the floor here. Here's a human body. Can you find the thyroid gland? Where is the Ooh, thyroid is it, gland? Is it, yeah, I think we're going to play. Right, go, 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 go. I'm thinking it's it in your neck. It is indeed it's in your neck. It's a thousand pound ring, so it's the biggest one. Your rings, that's it. Definitely okay. in the neck. You yeah, happy? I'm happy with that. Yeah. You're happy with that, Ruth? Yeah, it's on the absolutely. Neck. Cool. Okay, okay. I think we're happy with that. You've got loads of time, so just make sure you you're absolutely so? sure where I it is. So. Yeah, I always seem to remember it's in here. In the neck. Yeah. I'm happy with I think we've got that right. Ten seconds left. Okay. Yeah. We're happy right. with that. Okay. We're going to go with that. We're I like it. It's a nice positive start. So, let's see whether or not you are right. Have you managed to find the thyroid gland? Yes, you have. Correct. All of it is oh, inside that ring. Yeah. Well done. That's a really good start. Fabulous. The next question is for £2,500. And as Ooh. the money goes up, the rings get smaller. smaller. And this Ooh. one is your turn, Ruth. Wonderful. You Make are. sure I get it the right way up. Have, yes. a, look at, <laughs> have a look at the floor. And uh, here's your question. Do you recognise that front door? That looks it's 10 like Downing Street, I think. Yeah, isn't it? Britain's yes. most... Famous, famous front door. door. It's number 10 yeah, Downing Street. Absolutely. Right. Trouble yes. is, obviously, yes. most of it is missing. Can yes. you find the number, the number 10. 10 on the door? Right. OK. Off you go. Off you go, Ruth. OK. OK, For Dan, £2, down. For £2,500, just find the number 10. Down, down, Ruth. I put the ring. That's okay. it. Yes. I think slightly over that way, Ruth. Slightly, slightly over. A little bit. OK. And I think more towards me. To you. More to towards you. me. A little bit more like in the middle panel, though. Absolutely. Of the door. So we've got to centralise it. So I yeah. think you can come over a little bit, that this way a little way, bit. Okay. And slightly Ten towards seconds. me again. Towards you. Okay. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I think so. I think it's about right. To me. Does it fit? Yeah. Yeah. That looks okay. right. Okay, Ruth. We're Go happy for with it. that. <laughs> Good. 
They're very positive. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're a little bit worried here. <laughs> very positive. So, if you get this right, you'll take £2,500 into the final. So, are you right? Did you find the number 10 on the Downing Street door? Yes, you did. <laughs> Five gold Fabulous. rings intact and £2,500 to take super. into the Gosh, final. Wonderful. Now the money goes up even steeper, and as it goes up, the rings get smaller. This is your £5,000 ring. Ooh. Take your time as we have a look okay. at the floor Let's for your look. next question. It is a maze. Imagine you're standing on the gold symbol in the centre facing north. OK. Yeah. Now, you're about to see a, a short journey through the maze. Pay very close attention to the route okay. and where it ends. Right. You're facing north. Right, okay. that's the end of that journey through okay. the maze. Hopefully you're watching very carefully. You can see the red think... wheelbarrow. OK. Yes. Where on the maze was the red wheelbarrow? Yeah, let's, let's try, let's, let's try, go play. for it. So, we um, went north. We went here. So we're going left. Going to right. Left, left, left. And then uh, left. Oh, no, no, I think you need to come back. Come back this way. Come back that way. Come back this way. Wait, who do you went to go to journey? Do you know what? I don't know about this, Deb. I'm going to go over here because I know it went line. left, left, and then we moved it over to, and the wheelbarrow was in front of us at the red okay. there. So I'm going to put it. You think Are you happy? Are you uh, happy? Yeah, go for it, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. happy? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Otherwise, we could. Okay, so that's where you've placed the gold ring. Yes. Have you lost a ring or will oh. you take £5,000 through to the final? How confident were you about your routing there? I wasn't. No, I wasn't as well, Philip. Not as confident with the other questions. But I'm hoping that we'll be close. All right. Let's find out whether or not you were correct. Did you find the red wheelbarrow? <laughs> Okay. So a big black hole has okay. appeared there, okay. so you can play a lifeline or you can play again. Now you know how it works. Mm. If you want to watch that journey again, you have to play again. Okay. Do you want to flip? Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Right, so you don't like that. No. So let's have okay. a look on the other side of the floor and see if Ooh. there's something else there that you fancy. OK. So it's the famous American landmark, yes. Yes. the Statue of Liberty. Liberty. We've taken something away. Oh. Can you find where it should be? Something's missing from the statue, not the background. Okay. So you've got to decide whether you're going to play this one or are you going to play the other one. So what are you going to do? You're going to play this one or are you going back to the maze? We're right, going to play go this one. You're going to play we're this one. Play yeah. this one. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the maze see. and let's see where, where that was. red yes. wheelbarrow was. Were you anywhere near it, <sighs> no. do you think? No. Guys, do you have an idea? I think it was nearer to the west. Tell me where you think it was. <laughs> yes. Um, keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going a bit further. About there, but just a little, yep, spot on. <laughs> right. This is where you think it is. I think it was there. Ooh. I had All right. no idea. He had no <laughs> idea. You didn't have a clue. I lost. So no one has a good sense of direction at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonder any of you found your way to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether or not, if you've been playing, whether you would have got it right. Let's have a look. Is this where it is? <laughs> oh, over there. Right. Oh, no. This is the journey. That's where it was. Oh, my God. You really couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> we couldn't, could we? <laughs> Either of you. That's why the world invented sat-navs, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs>
Never mind. If you'd been in that maze, you'd have been in it for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you didn't play that one. Let's flip the floor because you decided to play the alternative question. Here is the question that you will have to play. The famous American landmark, the Statue of Liberty, we've taken something away. Can you find where it should be? We're looking for something missing from the statue, not the background. Ready and go. And you right. got Ruth, hey, Ruth. best of luck. You okay, think the same as me, Find think... what's missing. I think it's one of the spikes. I think it's the spike. It is. Ruth, it is. You think so? I, I think, think so. it's the spike here. Yeah, that's you happy with that. Absolutely. Look, there's one, two, three there, one, yeah. two, three, but that's that one it. here, it doesn't yeah. kind of match up. Move it over a little bit slightly so it gets that, that right, way. That way. That's okay. it. You think that's yeah. right? Happy with that. Yeah, happy? I think so. I hope so anyway. That's what we think. Oh, let's try. That's what we Well, you seem pretty positive. You seem fairly positive. You've yeah. lost one gold ring. You really don't want to lose another one. Yeah. Have you made the right decision to flip the floor? Yeah. Is that where the missing piece is? Do you take £5,000 through to the final? Right or wrong? There you go. And if you win your £25,000, or even oh, 10 or five, really, you'll be able to go to New York, you'll yes. be able to look up at Lady Liberty and say, thank, thank, you, thank you very you. much yeah, indeed. Thank you. So, the next question, the money goes up to £10,000. As right. the money goes up, the rings get smaller. That Ooh. is the £10,000 ring. Thank you. Gets much, much Just harder. So nice. And we'll see your £10,000 question right after the break. Welcome back to Five Gold Rings, where our teams are looking for answers right there on that floor. Debbie and Ruth have £5,000. Danny and Jeff are watching. It's their turn very soon. But it's time now for your next question. This one is worth £10,000, which is why that ring has got considerably smaller. Let's have a look at your £10,000 question. Watch the floor. Oh, Famous photo yeah. from the 2011 yes. royal wedding of William and Kate yes. as they're stealing a kiss on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. The picture went viral because of a bridesmaid next to the happy couple. Can you find where the frowning bridesmaid face should be? Oh, We're yep, looking for the face, thing. not the hair. Face of the bridesmaid. Yep, the okay. frowning bridesmaid. Okay, Off you go. go. Okay. It helps, I'm of course, if you're one of the people that saw now. the viral this picture. This side. Oh, back, back a bit, back a bit, back, back, back. a bit, because um, I don't think they're that tall themselves, are they? Go the children. No, yes. and she's right. Go left at that go way over a here. Bit. Yeah, look over a bit here. more. I think. You think so? You're looking for the, the face, face the of face. the frowning child. Made. Oh gosh, I don't know if it might have been by the post. Come back, back a bit. bit. There. This way. Back this way. way. Back a bit. Back a bit. Bit back. more. More. Five, more. 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 Four, okay. three, more. More. Okay. 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 Two. <laughs> Do you remember the shot? Yes. Vaguely, I do. I can yes. remember. But I was more yes. concentrating on the kiss. Of course <laughs> you were. <laughs> well, have you got it right? No, you didn't. Oh. No, you did not. So, you know now that that's exactly that's... not where it okay. is. And Ruth, it's your turn. OK. On you go. Yes. Go, Ruth. Go, Ruth. 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 Right. I think you need to I'm come. I'm sort of come. thinking. I think you need to come over to the centre a little bit more. Do you? But yeah. weren't they against the balcony? Well, they were stood there, but it's a child, isn't it? Yeah. So she looks quite small. So I come over a little bit. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think it's further out than by the pillar? I, I sort of thought the child might be there. Okay. I don't okay. know why I'm thinking that. Is, I'm just trying to picture actually where the child's face it would be. So I think up, up a little bit towards you. You're towards right. Keep me. That, like, yeah. I think because yeah. they're that tall. Time's so, nearly up. Yeah. And okay, Ruth. Stop. Don't touch that anymore. That's okay. where you've decided it is. <laughs> so you've got three uh -huh. rings left. Will this knock out another one? Or will you take £10,000 through to the final? Have you managed to find the frowning bridesmaid's face? Are there people up and down the country looking at their tellies, yelling, that's not where it is, or <laughs> well done, you've got it exactly right? Do you remember where the bridesmaid was? Right or wrong? No, you haven't. Oh. 
That's not where the bridesmaid is. So you do have your lifeline, or you can play again. You're down to right. two gold rings. Philip, we're going to take our lifeline. Go for it. Just press that button. You don't have to ask me. Just go for it whenever yes. you want to. You're taking your lifeline. It means that you're asking your team yes. of five yes. up here. Each yeah. one of yes. them will have a tablet. Okay. And each one of them will have their own gold ring. And they can right. place those on the floor to help you. Hopefully, you know exactly where that frowning bridesmaid is. Play your five gold rings now. And if you're playing on the app, where did you put it? Are they in the right area, ballpark figure, or are they miles away? Time's up for your team of five. So have a look now. This is where they all think it is. They're only going to be there for a moment. You can decide to play that or not, or you can ignore them. It's entirely up to you. And now the rings have gone. Thank you very much indeed to your team of five. You can't use them again. That's both lifelines gone. You're down to two rings and you've got to play. OK. Best of luck and away you go. Right, Deb, we're going to go for the middle, I think, aren't we? Yeah? Right, Ruth, we're going to go you for the middle. In the middle. In the middle. OK. Down a little bit. There were two rings in there. Yeah. Over a little bit. We're thinking a Touch child's just face. Just slightly left. OK, okay. I think. OK. Yeah, I are think we that happy looks with all right that? to me. Child's I'm face. happy with that. Are you? Yeah, I absolutely am. Yeah, OK, centrally. let's go for that. Good. Okay. We'll try. Give Fingers that a go. Crossed. Yeah. You're down to two gold rings now. Let's see whether or not you're right. Have you lost that gold ring or have you got your £10,000 for the final? Bridesmaid is not, not there. there. And you have nowhere else to run. You have no more lifelines. You've got one more ring. And Ruth, you've got to go. Good luck, okay, Ruth. Ruth. Good luck, Ruth. <laughs> right. Come. Where are you thinking? Come over towards it. Towards this way. This way. Bit. Over because the other rings were there. Towards okay. me a little bit. Yeah, and I think slightly over a little bit that way. That way. Little bit. That Do feels that? right because the other rings from the audience were there. Maybe sort and of those... in between the two. Yeah, How I far does the wall come up, though? I, I think, actually, if you think the children could be in front of that, the face... I'm You're happy with that. That is the edge of the balcony. Okay, that's the balcony, balcony edge that's there. The balcony yes. there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think you can be right. That's it. Time's so. up. Ooh. Right. Difficult. 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 It is all Difficult. down to this answer. Yeah. Have you managed to find it now? If you have then you'll take £10,000 through to the final and you'll have one gold ring with a shot at that 25000 If you haven't got it right, you've used all your lifelines. Yes, we have. You've lost all of your gold rings, you've got £5,000. <gasps> they could easily win control of the final here on that. So you need We need this. to win this. Let's have a look. No. no. No, you haven't. Oh, gosh. No, you haven't. Oh, they're bright. Right, where would you have put it? I, I, th I think it was He's much the expert further on the royals. Much further on the edge of the photograph. Um, so let's imagine that you are uh, you are playing this. You think it's further over? Yes. Yeah, so if you walk along the edge of the canopy there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe even a little bit further to the side, about there, I think. You reckon here? Okay. I think so. I'm going to put the ring there, then. Oh, OK. Even further this way, I'd say. Well, don't take it so seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're not right, playing Steve. for the money, are we? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got a team of three, you know. That's it. That's Happy fine. with that? That's yeah, fine. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out whether or not you would have been any closer. Where is the frowning bridesmaid? Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's first on the royal. Yeah. Oh, look at that yeah. face. Oh. <laughs> Just look at that face. Oh, look. Danny, yeah. you've got the historical moment absolutely <laughs> spot on. Your team of five, utterly useless. <laughs> Miles away. Tough question, tough question. But that does mean that you will be taking £5,000 through to the final. All your gold rings gone, both of your lifelines used.
you could still win that money. You could still steal it away. Uh, their game is now finished, and we'll find out later if they've done enough to take control in the final. Could be a big advantage because only one team can take their prize money home tonight. The other will go home with nothing. Debbie and Ruth, everyone. If you are playing along on the app, the name of the highest scoring player is coming up on screen now. Brilliant gameplay there. Put your tablet down and give yourself a pat on the back. Definitely running rings around all the other players at home. So very well done. You, did you manage to find the bridesmaid? Uh, if you want to see your name up there, not too late, get involved and the very best of luck. So, Danny and Jeff, it's their turn. £25,000 at stake. Will you be the ones to get up to that jackpot in the final tonight? Will you have control of the final? We'll see right after the break. Debbie and Ruth finished their game on £5,000. Danny and Jeff are hoping that they can do better to take control in the final and leave here with some serious money. The very best of luck, Thank you. guys. What would you do if you won the £25,000? When Danny and uh, his twin brother Patrick, who was in the audience, uh, were ten, I took them to um, Efteling um, theme park in, in Holland. And I'd like to take my five grandchildren, who all live in the UK, we, Jean and I don't see a great deal of them, yeah. and I'd love to take them to Efteling and their parents. That's lovely. Right, the very best of luck, Thanks, thank guys. You. This first question is played with the biggest ring. And there it is, the £1,000 ring, which is absolutely enormous. There you go. <laughs> Let's play five gold rings. Have a look at that floor. There is your £1,000 question. Ah, OK. So this fishy tail belongs to the Little Mermaid statue in Copenhagen. Yeah. It was a statue that's a tribute to Hans Christian Andersen, who mm -hmm. wrote the Little Mermaid stories. What you need to do is to find where her hair should be. Where is the Little Mermaid's hair? On you go. OK. OK, Danny. So a good sort of 12 o'clock time, yeah, and then come work down a bit. No, back a, back a little. Find a little mermaid's back, yeah, hair. Back, back a little bit, yep. Is that, how's that, is that okay? Not no, too far? Come towards me slightly. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, no. okay. Yep, yep. Okay, we're good. Yep. Only one pixel of the hair has to be within yep. that ring, so you don't have to be spot on it. Have you been to Copenhagen? Have you seen the statue? No, no. Never been, no. No? So. Does that fit into your historical knowledge? <laughs> it seems like you're about right anatomically, at least. <laughs> That's where you were going. Yes, you were going yeah. anatomically. <laughs> yeah. Let's find out whether you're right. Did you find where her hair should be? Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Could have come across a little bit. Yes, you got 24% yeah. of the Little Mermaid's <laughs> okay. hair oh, okay. within that ring. And well done, you'll now take £1,000 through to the final. All okay. five gold rings intact. And, of yes. course, we go up now with the money. Oh, yep. As yep. the money increases, the rings get smaller. That is the £2,500 ring. Oh, it's your right turn, side, isn't it? Jeff, here's a look at the floor. This is a QWERTY keyboard with most of the letters and symbols removed. Can you find where the question mark key should be? Where's the question mark? Flip it, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. We'll flip it. Yeah. You're going to flip it? Yeah. yeah. First lifeline down. We'll flip the floor and we'll have a look at what's on the other side. You can always come back to this one if you want to. Okay. There you go. Oh, There's okay. your alternative yeah. question. The Egyptian statue, very famous. The great Sphinx at Giza. Part of the picture's missing. You need to find where the Sphinx's right ear should be. Okay. OK. Where's the Sphinx's right ear? Do you want to play this one or do you want to go back to the keyboard? Play this one. I think we'll play this one, yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's go back to the keyboard then in that case and we'll just resolve that one. You don't okay. want to play this one, although you no. did use your lifeline. Roughly, where would you put it? Um, just a little bit... Where? I think it's about there. It looks like you it's think it's here? You reckon I'm, I'm standing on the... I uh, think so. ..on yeah. the question mark? If you're playing this at home, is that roughly where you would have put it? And don't look at a keyboard, because that's just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Bearing in mind that uh, the, the ring you've got there is bigger than my feet, would you have been in roughly the right area? Is this where the question mark oh, is? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That's a little bit... 
You yeah. nailed it. You absolutely nailed it. If you'd played that, you'd have been through. Never mind, doesn't matter. You decided not to play that one. Let's flip the floor and play the question that you did actually choose. And so we're back to the Sphinx. Part of the picture's missing. All you need to do is to find where the Sphinx's right ear should be. OK. okay. Yep. Go for it. Where's the Sphinx's so right ear for £2,500? Yeah, I think that has to... Yeah, I think they'll be... I think they'll touch it. I think we'll be OK. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, maybe just bring it towards you just ever so slightly. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit more. I think that's OK. Yeah. Yeah. I take them back. Yeah, you're happy yeah. with that? Yeah, sure. OK. <laughs> come back, come back, come back. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, you end up with sort of ten seconds left, and although you think you've absolutely got it right, you're still thinking, how can I use this time? How can I use this time? Can I use this time to move it one centimetre? <laughs> Will it make a difference? Let's find out whether or not you've managed to hit that right ear. Just a part of it has to be in, and you're through with £2,500 to play for in the final. Right or wrong, have you found the Sphinx's right ear? Yes! yes. <laughs> 72% of the Sphinx's right here. Well played, very good. So you have £2,500. As the money goes up, the rings get smaller, and that is your £5,000 ring. Good luck. Okay. Have a look at the floor. On the top right, you can see two catapults. Pay very close attention because they are each going to launch a boulder. OK. And then the game will pause. Watch the boulders. Now, the boulders are travelling at exactly the same speed yeah. and in a straight line. Okay. All you've got to do is to find the point where the boulders' paths will cross. Yeah. We're looking for the centre of the collision where the two boulders okay. overlap. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Right, head for the... Yeah, what go across think? a little bit. Wait, wait, this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bit, a little bit be, further. A little bit further this way? Yeah. Don't want to come too far. No, I think, I think you need... Look at where your boulder's... Where your yellow boulder's going. Yeah, yeah. Out here? No, no. No, go further. This way, across. this way, even further? Yeah, back, back, back. No, Danny, keep going back that way. <laughs> that way? Yeah. I'm up a little bit, off. up a little bit. Yes, oh, man, you had two seconds <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff's not happy with that. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> Jeff is not happy with <laughs> that. What are your thoughts, Jeff? I think it just needed to be a little about another half a circumference. It's so hard that. to see when you're down there, you yeah. see. Yeah. yeah. So have you managed to nail this? Will you take five thousand pounds through to the final? <laughs> no, you haven't. No, you haven't. And I think once you got back here yeah. and looked at it, you knew that wasn't it, going to be right. It made yeah. much more yeah. sense, yeah. And also, as you shouted out, <laughs> we got a sort of glimpse <laughs> into the moments when you as a kid did something wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not there, not there! <laughs> the great thing is, yeah. it's your turn now. Yes, I know. You You've got to play it. Now. Right. <laughs> so where would you put it? On you go. Think, you think that's about right? Where will the boulders cross paths? Cash. Look on the screen. Look yeah, on yeah, the yeah. screen. Yeah, I think that looks. I think that looks much better. Yeah. 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 There. yeah. Are we yeah. happy with that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Oh, you've still got time left. Still got time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, go with your conviction. Yeah, yeah, go with your conviction. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how it works for one and works for the other. Yeah. Shouting at you, you had time left. He had even more left. <laughs> Have you managed to find that point? Do you take five thousand pounds through to the final, or are you down another of your five gold rings? Just, but only just is good enough. It only has to be a pixel. <laughs> now the pressure is really on. You're playing for control of the final, and you're now at the same amount of money as 
Debbie and Ruth. Yeah. Now it gets tough and the rings get smaller. There is the £10,000 ring and that one is yours and this is your question. So it's part of the UK. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking for a city that has a famous castle and a famous festival. Is it famous enough for you to be able to find it? Can you find Edinburgh? Are we playing? Let's go. Are you going to ask? Not very good at Scotland then. <laughs> I just thought, because it, it's so important. Surely it's a historic city! <laughs> There's all sorts of historic stuff has happened there. Well, it's an important question. Yeah. So you maybe it get is a £10,000 question, you're absolutely right. You got so you're going to ask your team of five up here. Yeah. Patrick, your twin brother, is up there. Now you get a chance to play, Patrick, along with the four others who are in your team of five. You each have a gold ring. Place that gold ring on the map. Do you know where Edinburgh is? Your time starts now. Please find Edinburgh for Danny and Jeff. Good evening if you are watching the show in Scotland. Can't imagine anybody in Scotland has not got their finger on the screen now and are yelling, that's where it is. So they are centred, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. They've picked roughly the same sort of place. They're about to disappear, so remember where they are. You don't have Thank to take you. any notice of that, because remember how wrong their team of five were. <laughs> are you going to take any notice of your team of five? You've got to play it, on yeah, you yeah. go. Yep, go on, Danny. Go for it. Where go. is Edinburgh? No, across. Danny, yeah. up a little bit. Up a little bit? Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep this going. This is where everyone said, yeah? Keep going. Bit, bit more. Towards me? Yeah. Yeah? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> so you're saying for £10,000, that's where Edinburgh is. What does your twin do for a living? Uh, Patrick works for the college. Yeah, he's well, a HE, yeah. HE administrator at the same college that I work at. So how do you think his navigation is? Pretty rubbish, I would think. Um, <laughs> but he's... No, I think, I think he's, got, he's nailed this. I've, I've got confidence in it. It's not where I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's not where you thought it was? No. <laughs> well, we'll if, find out. <laughs> well, if, if they get this wrong, and if they haven't helped you, then sometimes it's best to go with your own instincts. Sure. But hopefully, you know, they may very well have nailed it yeah, sure. here. Have they managed to find Edinburgh for you? Listen to your team of five, yeah. and they are wrong. Yeah. Patrick definitely got that wrong there. <laughs> right, your turn to play. Get on. Okay. On okay. you go. I'll go with my instinct this time. Go, you go, go, tell go, him go. where yeah. you think it was. Yeah. I think it's further south. Further south, across across the body of water. Further south. South. Immediately, immediately south from the the circle you've got at the moment. So you, come oh. towards the body of water down there. Yeah. Further yeah. down. Further down. I think it's on the other side of this body of water here. Yeah. So no, down, that's too low. More towards you. Yeah, further yep. down, further down. So bring it further towards the body of water and get off. No. No, come, 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 come back. Let go. Yeah. You've got to come off. I've got to come off. <laughs> yeah, you've got to come off. Danny, you were very specific in yep. where you thought it was. You were not listening to him at all, were you? I wasn't, was I? No. I think it's on the south coast of the body of water, the first. I can't remember which one it is, but we'll find out. Well, let's have a look and let's see whether or not you are right. There was some real confusion over the placing of this ring. It's your turn. Now put okay, it where play. you want it to be. <laughs> on you go. OK. Play where you want it to be. <laughs> Come on, Danny. Come on, you can do it. I think... Don't... You've got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. You've got plenty of time. I'd, got, you've got I'd go in a little bit. You, you're, covering, you're covering half the, half the um, water there. There's no, there's no point, is there? You'll get okay. more pixels. That's OK. Yeah, OK. You're covering half the North Sea there. Yeah, yeah. 
This is just getting a bit tense here. <laughs> Actually, now we are playing for £10,000. The rings are gradually being chipped away. Have they got £10,000 or have they lost that gold ring? We'll find out after the break. <laughs> Two five gold rings where Danny and Jeff have made it to five thousand pounds. Father and son playing with each other, but not necessarily listening to each other. <laughs> so, have you managed to find Edinburgh? Will you go through to the final with ten thousand pounds, or have you lost that gold ring? Move it towards the body of water. <laughs> Move it towards the body of water. That was the advice. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific. Well done. Thank you. Patrick Thank you. had no clue where it was. Thank, <laughs> go thank goodness, Danny, you did. Pick the right son. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so now it gets really tense. If you thought that was tense, because you have £10,000 through in the final. Now the ring's going to get much smaller. Okay. £25,000. And for that, it's that tiny one. Oh. And it's, and it's on you, isn't it? <laughs> and no it's pressure, yours. But listen. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Here's your question. So it's a standard playing card. Yeah. It's been partly covered. And at the top, you can see the king's moustache. But right. where is the moustache on the hidden part of the playing card? Can you find the moustache? Yeah. Off you go. Okay, you've got to go. Okay. okay. So it's gonna be quite near this, obviously near the near this side, near me. Oh, wrong way around. <laughs> so where wait, is the me. king's moustache? Towards me a bit further. I think that's or is it or is it opposite? <laughs> so come bring it. Yeah, I think we've got to leave it, because I, yeah, I, I yeah. can't tell. Yeah, you've yeah. got time, you've still got time to move it. Will it will it face the opposite way round? Let's see. No, I don't think so. Okay, you come now because yeah. time's running out. Quick, quick, quick. It depends if it's mirrored or not, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do you not play cards? Not like this. <laughs> are playing cards identical? Are they mirrored? I think they are. How mirrored. is a playing yeah. card set out? It's in that moment. What are you shouting at your telly? Are you playing on the app? Put your finger on your laptop or your screen, wherever. Nominate someone in the family just to point to where they actually think the moustache is. It's very easy to play this at home. Would you have it? Would you know where it is? It's for £25,000. Have you found the king's moustache for £25,000 or have you lost that ring? Is not right. That's no. not where the moustache is. Mm. And it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> you have one gold ring left. Right. Okay. So this way. So I think it is mirrored. I think. Yeah. It is... Go on then. Well, we didn't get it right last time. So no, go. No. You tell me because I can't. Yeah. See. Further, further, further to you. Yeah. Further to you. Keep going. Yeah. Keep. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Yeah. Down, it. down, a, away from you a little bit. That way. Yeah. That's right. We're happy with that. A bit, little bit further. Towards you. Yeah, towards me. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, should we? That's it. Yeah, let's go. We'll one more let's, turn after this. Yeah, so, let's yeah. go. There let's go. go there. That's the last ring. <laughs> you have £10,000. Yeah. You could take £25,000 through to the final. You've already control of that final. Have you got £25,000 or will you be playing for ten? Final gold ring. You've got to nail it with this one. Oh. No! 
<laughs> no, you haven't. Oh. That's not where the king's moustache yeah, is. So your game finishes now. You've got okay. £10,000 to take okay. through to the final. Let's have a look and see, were you close to the king's moustache? Oh. Miles yeah, away. A bit further up. That means your game finishes on £10,000. Well done to Danny and Jeff. <laughs> So, if you're playing along on the app, fun tonight. The name of the highest scoring player is coming up on screen now. That's a great performance. There you are. If it's you, well done. We're all impressed. So, it's now time for the final, where both teams are going head-to-head. -head. Debbie and Ruth finished with £5,000. Danny and Jeff finished with £10,000. So, that means that Danny and Jeff, with a higher amount, have control of the final. They can attempt the final question themselves with this big ring. Or they can force Debbie and Ruth to attempt it with this much smaller ring. This is where it gets quite nasty because <laughs> if you look at that question and think nailed this absolutely fine then you can play it if you get it wrong then you'll lose your money and they'll get theirs okay. but you could force them to play the question with a smaller ring making it much harder so here is your final question let's play the final <laughs> Pay very close attention because this is a memory question. We are about to see different coins falling into water and then they will disappear. Watch very carefully because I'm going to ask you where one of the coins ended up. Watch carefully and remember. There's a euro. New Zealand dollar. South African rand. There's a pound. There's a Japanese yen. And there is a US dollar. All four of you remember where they are. They are about to disappear. And they've gone. They've gone into the wishing well. Now, what you're wishing is that you can remember where they are. <laughs> You're in control, and here is the question. Where was the pound coin? And are you going to play it, or are you going to make them play with the smaller ring? Are you playing with a big ring? I think we'll play. Yeah. You're going to play? play? Yeah, you could we'll force play. them to play it with a smaller one. We've got to give it a go, I think. You're going to go? All right. Go, go, go. Okay. Where was the pound coin? What do you think? Yeah, I think you've just about nailed it there, Danny. Are you sure we've got time to think about this? Well, just think about it. You can come across a little bit. To, to There's £10,000 riding on this. Yeah, well, 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 no, no, no. Yeah. Sure, are we happy? Yeah. Are we happy? I think we've got to go for it. Someone leaves with their money, someone yeah. leaves with nothing. OK, should we do it? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. That's where you're placing the ring. That's where you think yeah. the pound coin is. You both feel pretty confident about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so difficult when you're out there. So, Danny and Jeff had to find where the pound coin was when it hit the water. If they've done that, they're going home with £10,000. If they haven't done it, Debbie and Ruth are going home with £5,000. Where is the pound when it hits the water? Is it in that ring. Let's see it again from the beginning. And you have the Euro. There's the New Zealand dollar. There's the South African rand. Here's the pound, here's the pound, here's the pound. No! Guys, the worst thing is that you say to the team on this side, well done, you just won 5,000. You just lost 10,000 oh, pounds. Oh, I know. We did. All because of a pound. You got the dollar. I got the dollar. And the pound was well. over there. Yeah, yeah. What a shame. <laughs> we don't get the family all together, unfortunately. No, no, never mind. But you have a great time in New York. Oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much for playing, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Well done, ladies. Thank Enjoy you. New York. We will. And now you can look up at the Statue of Liberty and say, thank you very much. Well done, guys. That's it for this week. Join us next time when two more teams will be hoping to win £25,000 with just five gold rings. Good night.